Hi guys, Dylan Show with Three Irons Horse and Cattle Company. Today Sky's back and we're gonna kind of show you how I start going to put the snaffle in this horse's mouth. Um, a lot of people like to put the first ride in the halter, some like to put it in the snaffle. Um, me, I kind of do it on a horse to horse basis. Um, if I have a horse that hadn't really been handled a whole lot, that may be a little bit more jumpy, that I think is going to be a little tighter and I might need just a little bit more leverage to get their head bent in an emergency situation, well, I'll go ahead and start putting the snaffle in them and prepare them to be ridden in that snaffle the first time versus a halter. If I have a real deadhead type colt that's real gentle that I'm not really worried about, well, I'll just ride them in the halter the first couple rides. But it's kind of a personal preference, and I'll kind of show you how I do both ways. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how I start preparing this horse to take the snaffle. First and foremost, I don't like to reach up to the sky and try to put the snaffle on way up here. I try to get them to be able to put their head down. And by doing so, I just kind of try to take my arm and put it behind these ears and just kind of press. She's very sensitive. So when she goes down, I release her. If you had one that wasn't as sensitive, you can do use both of your hands, put one on the base of the halter and one on the neck back here behind the ears and, and pull down and release when they go down. Good. That was good. Also, if you have one that was really, really bad, you can start, well, you should do this anyway. I also start trying to tip them and do it so that I have this head bent to me here when I put this snaffle on. And it's a good idea if you have one that's kind of jumpy that you take this hand over here, you kind of pet them and get them used to this hand being over here and touch them on the off side of their face. When you go to start Sliding this snaffle up over this eye, you they might want to kind of set back or get scared of it. So you might prepare them for that. You know, I'll bend them here, and maybe I'll run this this hand over this ear and prepare them for me kind of sliding that bridle over that off ear. Good. I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. Good. I try to make it slow and easy on them. I, I don't try to rush it or make it a huge fight. Good. And then I'll just start building on it. Maybe I didn't take this snaffle here in my off hand or my left hand, put my hand back here, tip the nose, and I try to slide it back over here to this right hand. If she's bothered, maybe take it, your left hand, and just pet her here for a second. Then try to reach over here again. Good. Just like that right there. Then I'll kind of slide it up, put my left hands thumb in her mouth, tickle her tongue a little bit, and try to slide it in there as gently as I can. If she tilts away, I'll bring her back to my starting position and just kind of start over. There. And just slide it on in there. So I know I have my halter underneath this, this bridle here. And that's okay. I'm going to show you how to take it off. Because you might need this, this, this halter here to start putting this snaffle in them the first few times until they get good about all this. So I'm going to turn her sideways here. Okay. I'm going to show you how to take this rope halter off with the snaffle on. Undo it here. You're going to basically take this nose band in her mouth over top of the snaffle and back under and you can take this halter right off like that. So I just slide it in there, try to take it under the snaffle, and then back out, just like that right there. Now your halter's off. 